In this tutorial, I will show you how to compile and run C++ code on the Linux terminal. Note that this tutorial is a very simple one for beginners. I won't go over complex options, okay, just the minimalist way to compile and run a program. And so we will see two things. First, how to compile a single C++ file, and then how to compile multiple C++ files that you use together inside a single program. So the very first thing is to actually check if you have a C++ compiler on your computer, because if you don't have one, well, that's not going to work. And well, if you are using Linux, with most of the Linux versions, you should already have one, and you can check that with, for example, G++, and then dash dash version. Okay, you can see G++ is installed, so that's a C++ compiler. Okay, I didn't have to do anything to get it. If you don't have this, if you have an error, for example, G++ command not found, you can install it with sudo apt install G++, okay, G lowercase. So you run that and then you have G++. All right, now how to compile a C++ program with just one file. So I'm going to go inside this folder where I have a main.cpp. Okay, let's see what we have inside that main. Well, just a very basic main program, okay, that prints compile me if you can, okay, and that's pretty much it. So now we have the C++ file, how to compile it, create an executable and run that executable. Well, you're going to use the G++ command, so G++, and then put the name of the file, so main.cpp, you can use the autocompletion with tab, okay? You can see here, I use tab, autocompletion. This is going to compile main.c++ and create an executable. Now you can also use the option dash o, which means output, to choose the name of the executable, okay? So for example, test, and I press enter, Okay, and that was very quick because we just have one little file. So ls, you can see now we have a test executable, okay? This is an executable. So to run that, I just do dot slash test, enter, and you can see, compile me if you can, it worked. All right, so now if you modify uh, the code inside the main.cpp, don't forget to also compile every time, okay, the... Uh, main.cpp because if you modify this and you just run the test executable, well, you are running the previous version, okay? So make sure that when you modify something, you save the file and then you compile again and then you run again. One thing to note here is that you don't have any extension, okay, for the executable and that's absolutely not a problem on Linux, okay? If you were to use Windows, you would have test.exe but on Linux, that's completely fine and you can have a file without any extension. All right, now let's go to this folder with multiple files. We need to do clear. And let's see how to compile and run a C++ program which contains different C++ files. So here, what do I have? I have a main.cpp. This is going to be the main, which contains the main function. I have then a library that I've created with a C++ file, so mycomputations.c++ and mycomputations.hpp, okay? So let's see actually what we have inside very quickly. So in the main, okay, in the main, we include mycomputations.hpp, which is that one, okay? And then we do stuff, well, that is, so this function, for example, is inside mycomputations.hpp. So I'm not going to go into the details here. Let's see what we have inside mycomputations.hpp and so you have here some prototypes okay double number celsius to fahrenheit compute rectangle area so those are the functions that we use inside the main as you can see and so this is the header file and then we have the uh, c++ file which is the implementation file which contains the definition okay the definitions of the uh, functions and this also includes the header file so this is a pretty common organization, okay? You have HPP and CPP files, okay? And then you're gonna include the HPP file from another file, etc., etc. So here you just have one library, but you could have as many as you want, all right? And the main function is inside the main.cpp here. 
So how to compile that? Because if you just do G++ on the main.cpp like we did before, you're gonna get an error. Okay, let's try that actually. If I do, so let's do clear, G++ main.cpp dash O, let's say I want to create a main executable. And you can see we have an error, okay? Undefined reference to all the functions that we use uh, from the library my computations. So let's do clear again and ls. If you want to compute that kind of stuff, what you need to do is do g with main.cpp and then you're gonna include all the C files, okay? Not the header file, just the C files. So you can do my computation.cpp, okay? You're gonna put all the C files like that. One by one, okay, after the G command, separated by a space. And then once you have added all the CPP files, you do dash O, and then you can select a name for your program. Let's say my super program. I press enter, and now it works. LS, I have now my super program executable, okay, which has been compiled with everything here. And I can run my super program and you have the output that was uh, done in the main.cpp and that is using the functions from this library. All right, so that's very important. You add all the CPP files, okay, but you don't add the HPP file and then you just create with dash O an executable with the name that you want. If you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn C++ step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.